Hey kiddos, welcome back. We are so excited that you're here. Again, I'm Mrs. Croft. I am a second grade teacher at Loman Hill Early College Prep, and I'm excited to be one of your math teachers this semester. So, module one, lesson two, this is where we're at. And here's what we're learning. We are learning to make the next 10 and add to a multiple of 10. So we're taking it a step farther than we took it yesterday. And you will know that you are successful at this when you can add to a number to make the next 10. And when you can add a number to a multiple of 10 to make a new number. Now we're gonna talk about exactly what multiples are. So a rec and rec, of course, is this tool right here, okay? Base 10 blocks that represent units, uh, tens, these are units and these are tens, and then there's hundreds and thousands. And another word that you're probably familiar with is number bond. It's a three part set of numbers and they're all related. It's like a fact family and we're gonna deal with some of that today. Now, multiples of a number are like skip counting. Like when you count two, four, six, eight, it's like adding two over and over and over again. But right now we're just dealing with tens. So if we counted by tens, we would say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And we'd be adding 10 every time we said the next 10. Okay, so what makes the next 10? We are talking about number pairs. So what two numbers go together and are partners to make 10? I would say eight and you would say two because eight plus two equals 10, okay? So we're gonna do it pretty quick and we're gonna start with six. If I say six, you say four, that's right. Six plus four equals 10. I say three, you say seven, perfect. Three plus seven equals 10. I say five you say five, that's right. Five plus five equals 10. I say one, you say nine. One plus nine equals 10. All of these are number pairs that make 10 together. They all go together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you see all the numbers. Which numbers are missing? Oh, can you guess? That's right, zero and 10. That would be another number pair. Wow, good thinking, you guys are so smart. Okay, so we're gonna talk about value. The value of tens and ones. Now this long is a 10 and these are our ones. And a value is how much something is worth. So if you had a necklace like mine, the value of it would be how much someone would pay for it, how much it's worth, okay? It is one necklace, but that doesn't mean it's worth $1. It could be worth a million dollars. It could be worth $10. It could be worth $100. So the value is how much that represents. Okay, so tell me the total value of my tens and ones. We know this is worth 10 and each of these is worth one. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And see how it separates, has a little space between the fives? Because just like our 10 frame, five and five make 10. And so it separates it to make it easy to know how many are there. We can just say 10 and this is five just by looking at it. So that's why our 10 frame is so cool. Okay, so the total value of our tens and ones, we didn't say that, it's 10 plus seven. So what is 10 plus seven? 10 plus seven is 17, right? So let's do it the say 10 way. One, 10, seven. One, 10, seven is the say 10 way. It's worth 17, the value is 17. The say 10 way is one, 10, seven. And let's say the addition sentence. 10 plus seven equals 17. Now we're gonna do this for a whole bunch of them, so stay with me. All right, look at this picture here really close and tell me the total value of my tens and ones. Good job. 
If I have two tens, that's 20 and two, 22. Very good. And the say 10 way would be kind of what I just said before. Maybe we should have put that first. Two tens, two. And if we say the say 10 way, it makes us realize how much the value is. So two tens we know is 20 and two is 22. Very good. And so let's say the addition sentence, it all goes together. Two tens is 20, so 10 plus 10 plus two, or 20 plus two equals 22. Very good, awesome. All right, now we have another one. Look at this picture for just a minute. Tell me the total value. Hmm. We know that these are fives, but this isn't a whole five. We're missing one. 29, very good. So let's do it the say 10 way. Two tens, nine, right. And the addition sentence would be 10 plus 10 or 20 plus nine equals 29. Awesome. Very good. You can look at this and tell the value of the tens and ones. You can say the 10 way and you can also show me the addition sentence. So here's another one. Whoa, that's a big one. Do you know what it is? What's the value? That's right, 64. And the say 10 way would be six tens, four. Good job. And the addition sentence would be, how much are the tens? The value is 60 and four, so 60. That's right, 60 plus four equals 64. Man, you guys rock this. All right, let's look at number bonds. When you see the whole at the top, it has two parts that come off and those parts add together to make the whole. So if our whole is 10 and we have a part that's four, what's missing? Four plus, that's right, it's six. And you know what this reminded me of? I bet you thought of it too. I say four, you say six, awesome. So do that with this, uh-oh, whoa, wait a minute. Those are big numbers, that isn't a 10, but it's a multiple of 10, 10, 20, 30. How many tens is that? You're right, it's three tens. Three tens equals 30. So the part of 30 that they show is 24. Hmm, what's missing? Your eye might look at this and say, oh, a 10 is missing, but not so fast because we have some ones. So how many more ones do we need to make this the next 10? Because the next 10 from 20 is what? 30, right? So we're not missing a whole 10, we're just missing some ones. How many ones? Well, I say four, you say, gosh, you guys are excellent at this. So 24 plus six, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30 makes 30. Six more make 30. Very good. All right, now we see our multiple is 10 more. It's 40, but the part that they show is six. Hmm, how many more do I need to make a 10? If I said six, you say, that's right, four. But that's only gonna make 10 and we need 40. So if we have 10, how many more tens do we need to make 40? Let's count. We have a 10, we need 20, 30, 40. So we had one and we need three more. So our answer is 34. Four more to make the 10 and three more tens. That's a little more difficult when you're missing the big number. So let's do another one. You know, when it's difficult, we shouldn't just quit and say, whoa, maybe we should show the big number every time. Well, if we always showed the big part, our brain wouldn't ever think of what the big part is. So make yourself do hard things and it will make your brain grow. So let's start here. I say two, you say eight, that's right. Eight would make 10. Now, how many more tens do we need to get to six? If we have one, how many more to get to six? Right, 
So we have eight and five tens. Huh, that's the say 10 way. Five tens, eight. 58. See how they all connect together? Math is so cool. There's always patterns and the numbers always go together. Here's an easy one again. I see 10 is my whole. I say seven, you say? Perfect, awesome, that was an easy one. 30, I say three, how many more to make 10? Seven, right, so if we have one 10, how many more do we need to make three tens? Yeah, two more, we need two more, so 20 and seven, very good. Woo, these are tricky. 90, I say three, you say? Seven again, right, but that's only one 10. If we have one, how many more to get to nine? Ooh, one plus what is nine? That's right, eight, and you have your seven to make the 10. So three and seven make 10, and eight tens is nine tens. Wow, I hope you're getting this today. I'm so excited about this lesson. So here is what your exit ticket looks like. You're able to take a number and add it to a 10. You're able to make a 10. You're able to add to a multiple of 10 to make the next 10 and find out what those parts are. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna be adding some uh, to a 10 and to a multiple of 10, which is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, right? 70 and so on. And here's your homework. You get to make some number bonds. Now, this number bond looks funny. But remember, the one circle by itself is always the whole, and the two circles are the parts. So this is just flipped upside down from what we did. Our hole was at the top, and our parts were at the bottom. Now this hole is at the bottom, and the parts are at the top, and your homework also. Again, here's some target practice you can play. Don't forget your dice. And there's also all these fun activities. You can go on Math Playground and Cool Math and search making a 10 or multiples of 10 and then your video. I sure hope you had a good time. I had a good time today. I hope you liked this lesson and you learned something new. You have a great day and I will see you next time.